Alexis Bond works full-time answering telephones and giving information at the New Jersey State Courthouse. She gave up her job at a neighborhood school for higher wages and a much longer day. Now she worries about her children who must wait home alone while she weighs the value of money and a mother's time. Yes, you want their money because you, they need stuff. But at the same time, these are the most important times of their lives when they need their parent there to guide them. Will they remember mommy just working all the time and not being there for us? Those are the things I think about. Is that it? Her husband, James, works 10 hours a day in a busy hospital kitchen. They don't own a car. In spite of their two full-time incomes, monthly loan payments, gas and insurance are well beyond their means. The bulk of their earnings goes to pay the rent on a well-worn apartment in a tough urban neighborhood. The Bond's children have learned to live without much of what other kids take for granted. I hope to one day have the home in the yard, the vehicle, you know, and even the dog that my oldest daughter wants. Those are things that I'm reaching for. For now, those things will have to wait. For the Bonds, just paying their monthly bills leaves little room for dreams. Rent. Rent. You have to prioritize what's most important. Okay. Rent is definitely a priority. No, we have to pay this. It doesn't make sense to pay your electric bill and your phone bill and you don't have a roof to put it under. Public service is definitely the next priority because of the need for lights and gas and things like that. So that's the next priority. See, there's a shut off notice here, and this is due. PSCG, we have to do something about them. But that's behind, so. No matter how much you try to budget and plan and make sacrifices, you still fall short a lot of times. Verizon also sent us a warning, you know, notice. So we also have to do something about them. The uh, phone bill, because we have kids in the afternoon that are home alone, they're gonna need access to a phone for emergencies. You something know, else. One option, one thing we might be able to do, it's, take what we would get PSE and G and just give to Verizon and maybe just knock okay. a big chunk of that off. Um, or PSE and G, take from Verizon and, and give to PSE and G. It's frustrating when you sit down and have to try to pinch from here to pay there. So how about just sending Verizon 20? You get hit with late fees which kind of digs you into a deeper hole. So it just keeps increasing and you, you're never making any headway. Thursday, see you already going. Your check is almost over there. Yeah. Maybe the rent check will have to chip away at that and then make up for it next week. When you try so long to pacify your life, to compromise, you do feel stressed. Lab core, how much is that? There's 67. Is there a date on there? It's it's overdue. I'm just, you know. And you still have to put aside, you know, money for food and getting back and forth to work, both of us. We can't forget paying babysitting service. That has to be done. Are we gonna cut out for that? What are we gonna do? We just have to go minimum on groceries this week. 
And then when I get paid again, we'll try to maybe try to stock up a little bit. But well, we just have to try to get at least some milk and juice in here for Connery, you know. We get the milk and juice. We're going to need something Like the, the saying says, you rob Peter to pay Paul. You're going to pay the rent, but remember, you have to live without the necessary food or whatever else comes up until you get pay again. Little things just, you know, every now and then pop up. I think Soraya needs sneakers. And James Iman. needs sneakers and Iman needs sneakers. So we have to take Then we'll have to start juggling again. How can we now fit footwear into the budget with rent and public service and Verizon and childcare and everything else? You never kind of get over the hump. It is scary. It is scary because then you're thinking, I'm putting myself in a hole and Lord help us to get out of this.